What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Tech Stays by predicted lineup for Chelsea versus Brentford in the Premier League. Let's get into my lineup. After a disappointing draw in the end against Arsenal, I thought we played really well in that game, but unfortunately it finished 2 all after we bottled a 2 0 lead. So in goal, I'm going to stick with Robert Sanchez. I know he made a mistake for the goal, but there's always going to be a mistake in a player. At right back, I'm going to stick with Malagusto. He also made a mistake in the Arsenal game with letting Leandro Trossard score the equaliser. The two centre backs, I'm going to stick with Levi Cole and Thiago Silva. Both of them played, I thought, really well against Arsenal, Silver especially. A left back, I'm going to go with Mark Kukure, who was absolutely fantastic, absolutely locked down Saka in that first half. And for most of the second half too. The two midfielders, I'm going to go with Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandes. Another really good game from both of them against Arsenal. On the right, I'm going to go with Raheem Sterling. I see him starting on the right-hand side. He was a bit slow against Arsenal, but you can see him in there and being involved. In Cal, I'm going to go with Cole Palmer. What can I say about this player? Absolutely fantastic player. He deserves another start. He scored a penalty against Arsenal, cold as ice, under a lot of pressure at the bridge. Of course, it was at the shed end where most of the Arsenal fans are. I know it's half Chelsea and half of the away fans. But he had, uh, had a lot of bottle and he scored it, which was really good. And he could have got even got another one late in the game. On the left, I'm going to go with Mikhailo Mudrik. He's going to start again. He deserves another start. Got another goal. It was a magnificent goal against Arsenal as well, which is absolutely fantastic to see. You can see that he's grown in confidence even shooting now. He's, and he didn't shoot that much and he was a bit slow off the mark. But I think now he's finally getting into his stride. And up front, I'm going to go with Nico Jackson. He didn't start last week against Arsenal due to an injury. But I think he'll be ready enough to start in this game. And I think we missed that type of striker when we were 2-0 up. We should have probably brought him... I was thinking we could have brought him on at half-time. Just so we had someone out there with Arsenal's pressure on us at the start of the second half. So let's get into the opposition side of things. So our opponents, Brentford, last time out they won 3-0 at home against Burnley with goals from Jan Wieser, Brian Burma and Gudos in their last Premier League game, which was a very good result for them. They were on a really bad run of form, not winning in their last five up until this game against Burnley. They have struggled a lot this year without Ivan Tony, but he'll be returning in a few months, so I think that's when their form will really pick up. In the last five games, they lost 2-1 against Manchester United. Before that, they drew one all against Buckingham Forest. Before that, in the Carabao Cup, they lost 1-0 at home to Arsenal. Before that, they lost against Everton 3-1, and before that, they lost 1-0 against Newcastle. Their top scorer is Brian Mbomo, who's got five goals, one assist in 11 games. He's kind of filling in the role for Ivan Tony. Their danger player is Matthias Jensen, who's got four goals and one assist in 11 games. Brentford have won the two games at Stamford Bridge since returning to the Premier League. In the first season, they won it like 3-1 or 4-1 in uh, Thomas Tuchel's last full season. With Antonio Rudiger scoring an absolute belter. And last year, they beat us 2-0. So guys, my score prediction, I'm going to go with Chelsea 2, Brentford 0 with goals from Cole Palmer and Nicholas Jackson. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. See ya.